Hello, astronauts of Spaceship Earth. So wouldn't it be awesome if we could actually collectively decide the future we want to live in, positive futures, and then steer the entire planet towards that reality? So I feel like one of the reasons why so many people are pessimistic about the future and they imagine all these elaborate dystopian realities that they don't want to live in is because they, they feel like they have no say, they have no vote in what the future will be. Well, that in Hollywood, Hollywood doesn't really paint a good picture. I mean, best case scenario, you fall in love with an AI and it leaves you. Worst case scenario, it kills you because it's Terminator Run. Ah! I imagine politics also has a very negative effect on the psychology and perspective of people, uh, how they see the future, because you basically get a vote every four years and you feel like that's deciding the future, but it's not really. Like, even in a four-year Trump presidency, the thing that's going to have the most impact on the society and the world and our future is technology, because it's going to double twice, actually more than twice. It doubles every 18 months, roughly. But see, then I wonder whether people feel like they have no say in technology. Uh, it, it kind of seems like that's the thing that is guided by scientists and researchers and uh, entrepreneurs and companies. They decide where it goes. And sure, there's like definite inevitable trends as to where technology will end up, but any technology is a double-edged sword. It can be positive or negative. So if we had a collective say in where it went, that'd be much better. I often think the, uh, the future is very similar to like the economy. It's, a, it's like a collective outcome of all the individual purchasing decisions of the human hive mind. And the global economy is very much based in human psychology. I mean, you look at like just property prices. If, if everyone is optimistic about property prices and thinks they're going to go up, they'll continue investing. So it is what people think it is. Just like we feel disillusioned with politics because we basically have one say every four years and most of the time you feel like your vote doesn't count, maybe we have the same issue with the future. We feel disillusioned by it because we feel like we have no say in where it's going to go. Imagine if politics wasn't this like campaign cycle rhetoric of like, you know, selling fear and like left and right, conservative versus liberal and, you know, giant douche versus turd sandwich type thing, pick a side. But instead it was all about like actually really collectively involving all of uh, an entire population, the entire planet, and collectively deciding what type of future you want to live in and how we get there. If we had an ongoing kind of collective snapshot of the futures that people want to live in, uh, brought down to a very human level, like, you know, what is your day like in 2020? What is your day like in 2025? What is your day like in 2050? Then perhaps over time, politics and companies and business and political campaigns can kind of like align themselves to those future visions that the entire planet wants, and then we can actually have metrics to try and get there. Many years ago, I had this idea for a website I called 99 Timelines, and the concept was that imagine if everyone collectively put together a timeline of how they think the future will occur and specific dates. Because individually, no one's able to accurately predict the future very well. But collectively, if you have a million people all collectively putting together a timeline of how they think the future will unfurl, then it's a much more accurate snapshot. In addition, for each, uh, each kind of emerging technology and each potentially future technology, um, if you had a way for people to kind of explain these stories of like the pros and the cons on both sides, so an example, say drones, like drones on the positive side is awesome, like uh, drone delivery for like medicine or packages or food or anything like that. Really awesome. I read this idea today that uh, you could actually build skyscrapers where the balconies are suited for drones to land to deliver packages or for personal uh, transport drones. How cool would that be? But of course, any new technology is a double-edged sword. It can be used either way. So obviously, like on the negative side, drones can be used to kill people um, for surveillance and all these bad, terrible, fearful stories. But if we get the whole planet to kind of have this conversation about the future they want to live in, like all the possible awesome human-level use cases and stories about awesome futures and also the negative ones, now, maybe if you can get enough people around the world actually using this open, decentralized platform as a way to kind of have a vote on the futures they want to live in, perhaps then governments and businesses will actually use that to make decisions in the future. Governments and companies and entrepreneurs and individuals and researchers can help make the positive uh, futures realities as fast as possible, and then the negative ones, we can work on regulations and things to kind of mitigate them. If you want to take this idea a step further, perhaps we could create like a global governance DAO that kind of like gives XPRIZE type models to build these future stories, to build positive futures and mitigate the negative futures. So the drones example again, say you got the pros down one side, the cons down the other side, and everyone's stories in collective kind of voting on what futures they want to see on the positive and the, the worries they have on the negative. Then perhaps governments and uh, entrepreneurs and businesses and companies can actually put proposals to everyone saying, okay, here's this positive future, we want to help build this one, or here's this negative future, we want to do this to stop. Then perhaps this is a big like decentralized blockchain based thing where there's a whole pool of resources, potentially trillions of dollars, um, and then collectively every person on the planet gets to decide where their resources go. To so say Drone Corp Limited wants to actually develop um, drones and a whole system for delivering medical uh, supplies to remote villages in Africa. They could put forward that proposal and how much they need and people vote on it. Each person gets a certain number of votes per week or whatever, like you can work this out. Um, and then those votes are attached to amount of money. So you get kind of get to like give money to different causes. The platform could run a bit like uh, Kickstarter, so they don't get the money until they hit their, their cap, the amount they actually needed. But when they do get that amount, it pulls into a specific wallet on the blockchain. But as part of their proposal, um, what they have to do is actually have specific and very accurate, very like metric-based goals, uh, milestones, and that is coded into the blockchain. 
so that they only get a certain amount of money with each milestone. So they have to actually prove to the community who backed that project that they've achieved that milestone before they can get the next round of money to achieve the next milestone. And obviously like anyone can put forward a proposal on that positive side um, and what this kind of does is it means that everyone kind of gets a say on what futures they want to see happen and then gives resources to make those reality. Now the cool thing about this is actually the same process can happen on the negative side of that, that double-edged sword of technology. So governments and researchers and, and, and even companies can put forward proposals to mitigate the negatives. So the proposal on that negative side might be something to actually develop regulations to protect against uh, bad drone use or it could be for research to, to make protection drones for people or whatever. Perhaps every global citizen actually gets an equal vote and an equal amount of resources every week or every two weeks or every month or whatever with which to distribute to certain projects like this. I think it's really cool because it doesn't tie away from the fact that all technologies have both positive and negative potentials, but then it gives everyone a direct say with resources to vote on projects that promote positive outcomes and less than negative ones. I think something like this would be so awesome because it kind of, for the first time in human history, gives everyone an equal say in the future we want to live in and the future we don't want to live in. Snap your thoughts at future.